So some guy named Thor reached out to me from Superbase about creating a video about Superbase.js. If there's one thing I know about people named Thor, it's that you do what they say or else they will come down on this YouTube channel like the hammer of Thor. And he is. Me and Thor are currently operating under the understanding that if this video isn't out by midnight on Monday, July 10th, they're going to shut down all of my Superbase instances. Now don't get mad at Superbase because it's my own damn fault, to be honest. They originally reached out to me about this about six months ago, and I've just been slow to deliver. But higher stakes make for a better YouTube video, so it all worked out. So just what is Superbase.js? Well, let's knock off the JS piece of that first and just talk about Superbase real quick. Superbase is a fully serviced backend as a service centered around a Postgres instance. You have full access to this Postgres instance, and you can use any of the usual Postgres tools you might use in a Postgres database on your Superbase instance. But what Superbase has done is built a whole set of layers around the Superbase instance to enable all of the things you'd need for backend as a service. So this includes auth, a REST API for your Postgres instance, obviously, a real-time API, obviously, a storage API, obviously, and the ability to set up edge functions. And Superbase exposes all of these layers via one API. And this means that all of the communication between your app and Superbase can happen over HTTPS. And remember, there's no JavaScript involved up to this point. Trust me, the Superbase folks are way too sweaty to include any JS and anything on the backend level. But what the Superbase JS package gives you is a JavaScript client, almost like an SDK for interacting with your Superbase instance. So what does it take to set up your own Superbase instance? Well, I'm glad you asked because you're about to see these Leet Coder skills in action. Watch this. Whew, that was rough. But now my database is created and I can do any kind of Postgres stuff I want right here in the browser. As much as I love the native Postgres tools like PG Admin, I actually don't need it here because everything I need is right here at my fingertips in the browser. But let's create a new sandbox now on code sandbox and we'll see how easy it is to integrate our JavaScript to our new Postgres instance. You can see we're starting here with the React plus Vite sandbox and I'm going to create a new terminal here. And here we'll run the current command yarn add at superbase slash superbase.js. And that added our superbase.js package. So now we're going to import create client from that newly installed package. That's all we needed the terminal for, so let's get rid of that now. And now that we have the ability to create our client, let's do so by instantiating a new superbase client. And here we're going to pass in our superbase URL and a superbase key in order to initialize the client. Now, because this is a client that we're going to use on the front end, I'm going to grab the public anonymous key. We also could grab the admin key here, and this would give our client admin capabilities. So if we're running this on an edge function or on some other sandbox API, we can grab that key instead, get admin permission and do anything we want. But since this is going out to the client, we'll make sure to grab the public key. So we'll come over here back to our dashboard. And if we scroll down, we can see here's our URL. Paste that in here. And then here's the API key. And we'll paste that in here. Now that we have a client, let's come back to the dashboard again. And here I'm going to add a new table. We're going to call this table to do's. And we're going to give it one field here. We'll call it name. And we'll just make this some text. So that created our database for us. Let's insert some data into here now. There we go. So there's some to-dos now. Let's see if we can figure out how to render this inside of our front end. So we'll come back to Code Sandbox and here I'll do some React code to get this all set up. All right, so this is all the code I wrote. Uh, we have a place to store our to-dos here using this use state hook. And then we have a use effect that's going to use our Superbase client and take everything from our to-dos table and store them inside of that to-dos hook. Then in the render function, we simply create an unordered list and throw the name inside of the list item. And we can see over here, we did it. Contents of the database are now rendered here inside of our app. So that's just how simple it is to get started up with Superbase. And there is so much more cool stuff in here. I wanna show you one of my favorites. I'm hiding my Postgres password here, but by running this command, Superbase actually spit out for us TypeScript types that we can actually copy. So I'll copy this. And here I'm going to make a new file, just call it types.ts, paste it all in. And now when we initialize our client, I'm actually going to give it this generic of the database from that types file. And what this will give us is IntelliSense out of the box. So we'll see here, it knows about which tables we have. And actually, if we look at our to-dos here, it's going to know about the data inside of it. For instance, here it knows that a to-do is a combination of an ID and a name. 
So type safety is just that easy. And there's so much more that we can't get into this video, but don't worry because I teamed up with Fireship to create a full course on how to create an app using JavaScript and Supabase. You can check out the site that we build inside of this course on supaship.io. You can click this link up at the top of the site to get a 50% discount on the free app Supabase full course. I believe 50% off puts it at about 10 bucks. Thor, please don't delete my Supabases. I don't want Supaship.io to go down. And while I'm making some jokes at Supabases' expense, I actually think they have a really cool product here. And I think so much of their philosophy is just solid in terms of how they're running the project and how great the developer experience is as a result of that. So Thor, Ant, Koppel, Andrew, all y'all, thanks so much. Appreciate your hard work. We'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.